Hello, hello! We are making origami once again. This time around, we are making one of these lovely creations. This is called a stellated octahedron. Let's figure out how to make them. All right, so you're gonna start off with your color side facing up. You can see you already got a crease, and you're just gonna fold that right in half. That's called a book fold. And then you're gonna unfold it and then do a cupboard fold. So make those almost saloon doors. And you're gonna line it up and that midline fold you just created. Go over your creases so they're nice and sharp. Then unfold it, rotate, and you're doing the exact same thing on the opposite or 90 degree turn. So book fold and then cupboard fold. By the time you finish, you should have 16 squares one, two, three, four, by one, two, three, four. So 16 lovely little squares. And then we are going to fold diagonally. Lots of folds starting out, and we will use them all shortly. All right, okay, in our diamond shape, you're gonna take your very, very bottom, and you see how you can create like a tiny diamond right here? We're gonna take our bottom corner and fold that in. Okay, just like that. And then you're gonna unfold it. And then you're gonna take this, and fold it all the way to the center. So what we're doing right now is creating creases. That center area right there, and then unfold it. Now we still need one line right here, so we're gonna go extend all the way, or three quarters of the way, really, and create that last crease. So if you look at it, you got one, two, three folds into the center, all right? Now, you're rotating and doing it on the rest of those sides. So starting again from the bottom, and then continuing all the way. Okay, since all of those folds were the same, I did speed stir through that a little bit. If you need to pause, absolutely do so. But once you are at this point and your paper looks like mine, you're ready for your next step. So we have all the folds we need. Now we're just gonna repurpose some of them. So we're gonna fold our corners in here and over here. Now, in my opinion, this is the hardest step, this next one, because you're gonna do, <coughs> I think this is called a waterfall fold, where everything kinda creeps in together. So our corners are gonna go in like so, and our tops are gonna come down as well. So it's gonna accordion in, oh, And 
it should look just like that. You're not creating any new creases. If you look from the, that's the topical view, it's just flat. You're not creating any new creases. It's just getting laid out and repurpose the folds that already are created. All right, from here, you are going to take your right side. You're separating one top. This corner is getting pulled into this cross. So the midpoint of that cross all the way over, creating one more new crease. Our diamond right here, that flap, gets folded back and then we have one little diamond square right there we're gonna fold that up to create a crease and then you're gonna lift it up and pop this one open a little bit and sneak this guy right into that hidey hole now if you want, you can kind of use a pen or a pencil to help push that in if it's being troublesome. Now what do you think we're going to do? Same thing on the other side. This area over here is folded to that middle point. On the opposite side, triangle folds back little guy down here we gotta fold that one up like so and you're just creating a crease so then you can lift it up open that one up just a hair and sneak them in and you're doing the same thing on the opposite side Okay, this is what it should look like. Both sides once you're done. Now, crazy little thing. You'll notice at the top everything is together. At the bottom, you got a little air spot. So, you're actually gonna do a slight separation. And if you wanna use a pen or a pencil to do this, you can. Just create a teeny tiny hole. And We're gonna use those lungs, see if we can inflate this. Ho oh, ho, look at that, a little bit of air and it pops right up. All right, now some of you might find that it came a little bit too far apart. You need to pop a couple of these spots back in so you got some concave areas as well as the convex. But then you have a very, very cool little origami action toy for you. And remember, these are called stellated octahedrons.